Riding with it, y'all. It's your boy, Neighborhood Nip. Big shout out to my homeboy, DJ Deal. No question, Neighborhood Nip. I'm an addict for snitches. Sneaker Addicts, what's good? It's your boy DJ Dells. We have got these Air Jordan 1 first class flight sneakers that will be releasing on September 26th for $160. The colorway is white, dynamic yellow, and black. And allegedly, this is inspired by their shipping department. And we're going to talk more about that at the end of the video. I know not everyone likes to hear me rambling, cracking jokes, talking that talk. So we'll wait to the end of the video. I'll spare the people that hate when I talk too much in the beginning of the video. <laughs> and we'll get to the review. So I will say right off the bat, before we get up close, it's a very interesting upper because you have perforations throughout it but it has a slight like wrinkled tumble vibe to it. it's more like a wrinkled vibe on the leather it is a very soft leather the materials are nice it does come with another set of laces which i think is a plus i think that um these bright yellow laces will look fantastic on them but if you don't want so much pop you want to keep it a little bit just clean without all that extra loud scream then go with the white laces looking close up as you can see what i was telling you it's perforated micro perforations with this kind of wrinkled vibe some are gonna love this some are gonna hate it you got your swoosh right there you got a little bit of yellow you can see on the side of the actual leather you got some perforated yellow up top with your wings logo your michael jordan autograph and just taking a look at the midsole, all white, no sail, thank God, I'm tired of that sail. You got that bright yellow outsole popping nicey nice with your Nike branding. You got that yellow with the perforations to your white leather. And then you have this big ass barcode, which um, I guess is supposed to be inspired by the shipping label. We'll back it up one time. Let me know how you feel about how that looks. And you see on the medial side by the ankle, you got a whole bunch of stuff going on. Let me know if you know what this is all about right here. Break it down in the comments, please. I'd love to know. I think that's the recycling logo right there, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe this was made with recycled leather or materials. Who the hell knows if this is even real leather or not. As far as the fit to these, true to size, you got a super wide boulder foot, alien ET out of this world foot, then go up half a size. Your foot's a little wide, you should be good going true to size please hit that thumbs up button i had to go so out of my way for this i don't think there's one video yet of a men's review on this it takes one second to hit the thumbs up and it helps the channel so much and if you're not hitting the thumbs up button hit the thumbs down button at least own up to not showing that love for the early look so bang that thumbs down button and thank you bird's eye view on the toe with your micro perforations and your regular perforations to your flat laces your nylon tongue and then you have your nike air tag in your black and yellow black and yellow and, and then you have some stitching on the tongue in red black nike air branding over your yellow insert and a quick look at the grade school model the cut is a little different but all the bells and whistles all the extra branding is on the grade school size for all you grade school heads out there i ain't forget about you <laughs> as we get to the men's version again i like them i personally do like them i think it's a clean pair of kicks kind of weird they didn't release this in the spring i think this would have been great for the spring and the summer we're getting to the fall now but you can never go wrong with a clean white pair of sneakers so i think it's a go one thing that's kind of wild about these is that they're on StockX for over like $600 right now. Is that just because of the fact that they haven't released yet officially? I'm not one of them guys that knows so much about the resale game. So let me know. Are these going to be worth a ton of money or is it just because they haven't released yet? Let me know in the comments. Now, let's get back to the concept of this shoe. So from my understanding, allegedly, this shoe is inspired by their shipping department, Jordan's shipping department. Do you think that the shipping department got a pair of these shoes? That is the question when it comes to this. Do you think that they all got hooked up with a pair of these or no? This was just someone who works at Jordan Brand with the concepts, was thinking of an idea, you know, oh, we're going to, you know, grab uh, this from the packaging and da, 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 da. And that's it. No one got hooked up with no shoes. Or do you think that the employees that work in the shipping department, do you think they actually got a pair of these? Leave it in the comment box below. I think that that would be really terrible 
if Jordan Brand released the pair of shoes inspired by their shipping department, allegedly, and they didn't even get no love. They didn't get no kicks. Maybe they got hooked up with an exclusive, you know, a different colorway that only the shipping department has. How cool would that be if you were an employee for the shipping department and Jordan gave you some exclusive sneaker in a colorway that no one got? You only got it if you worked for Jordan Brand in that shipping department. If that is not the case where they didn't at least get these shoes and if these are inspired by the shipping department, I hope that if Jordan Brand, an employee from Jordan Brand listens to this, watches this video, I hope you all make that happen. I hope that you get these shoes to every person that works in the shipping department. Let them feel good. Let them feel proud that they were part of inspiration to this shoe. The people that are actually working over there. Or am I just straight up bugging and just talking that talk? I mean, if you look at it, this is almost like the player exclusive for the shipping department, right? You know, they come out with player exclusives for all Jordan Brand's basketball players in the NBA. This is basically the shipping department's player exclusive right here, no? <laughs> oh, man, we just having fun here, but I'm saying no, right? Is this the player exclusive for the shipping department right here? Maybe they should come out with all the different employees' names and whatnot. You know, some... <laughs> I'm just talking stupid now. I'm sorry. It's been a long day. It's been a real long day. Shout out to my dude Paris, by the way. I ran into earlier. He's seen me with my son, man. It has been a long day. My son's tooth is growing in, and he's just been moody all day. He's finally just chilling, taking a nap now, so I'm able to knock this video out right here. But, whew, it's been a long day. I hope you enjoyed this. I will link in the description box below StockX's website, like direct link to these shoes so that you could actually see how much they're going for. And if you want to keep checking later on, you can check and um, see how much these things are actually worth. As far as my understanding, these will be limited. The retail I'm at that I'm filming this right now at they only got a case so that's not many shoes if it's one case and this is a big retail this ain't no small little joint but they may get more you never know um i think that um if you want these you better be on it i will post information on my blog the sneaker which you should go to every single day the sneaker go there around 9 45 a.m eastern standard time i always post sneaker news and where to find the new shoes when they drop Plus, I tweet away, and whenever there's great deals, there are so many great deals, by the way, right now. You better be following my Twitter, because if you're looking for shoes and clothes, especially Jordans under retail, I'm always posting links over there. So I'll flash that real quick. Make sure you follow that. I'm telling you, you missing out. If you, if you don't follow my Twitter, you're missing out. So follow it, all right? I'm here to help you. I'm here to help you, 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 and even the hater over there that um, hit me with that thumbs down, you too. And once again, if you didn't hit the thumbs up, please, right now, hit the thumbs down. I respect the thumbs down game. At least you're expressing yourself. <laughs> Pick up the newest Sneaker Attic t-shirts. They're linked below. Also, I'll have a bunch of other stuff linked below. Great deals. Just check out that description box a lot over there, including the Patreon podcast where we do Q&A and giveaways. Look in that description box right below the screen. Check out my review also on the Navy Jordan 12s. You have got to watch my review. Not anyone else's, but my review. 99% of these dudes on YouTube, ladies even on YouTube, they ain't reviewing the shoe. They're just showing you it. And they're just predicting if it's going to sell or not. You come here, you're going to get an actual review. So that you know if it's worth buying or not. Now, you got to watch this one. If you're thinking about buying it, I'm not trying to get people not to buy it, but I do point out something that I really haven't seen no one really pointing out, which I find to be crazy. And after you watch that video, think to yourself, or if you already have watched that video, think to yourself, why is Dells the only guy to point out the obvious why? And, and you could probably answer the question yourself. That's the difference between this channel and others. I actually care about the money that's in your pocket. That's why I do these reviews here. Started off with me just showing my pickups and then it became me reviewing the shoes. 
I do not want you guys disappointed, you ladies disappointed when you're ordering your shoes. That's why this is the place to be. So if you haven't subscribed, do that. Leave the comment, share this video, Facebook, Twitter. And to make things easy for you, I will pin the video in the comment section below. So check out that video, see the upper on it. And the crazy thing is, it's not just my pair because if you actually go to the Nike launch site, the nike.com backslash launch site, and you look at the images that they posted, if you zoom in on the blue and the midsole, the upper, that one area toward the toe, you will see it looks like crap also. But for some reason, no one's pointing that out on YouTube. I think people are scared, man. They don't want to piss off brands. They don't want to piss off retailers. I think that's the truth right there, man. Thanks for tuning in. Much love. We out. We out.